I'm one of Sports Picks. He's Mike Brenner out and Peter Lojak. We're the Odds Couple. This is the MLB Odds Couple show for Wednesday, uh, October 19th. MLB playoffs. Mike Brenner, it's uh, it's always interesting. As we say every show, it's fun to watch, fun to follow, but Ooh. to bet on can be tough. Yeah, no, it can is. be tricky. Toronto finally, uh, you know, got a win. Are they now going to start winning? I mean, it's possible they could win another three in a row. It's also possible that they could lose today. They're a big favorite. Uh. And then uh, we got the Cubs suddenly down, uh, you know, two games to one. Uh, so again, we have two interesting situations. Two games that if they were regular season games, I would probably pass on. But uh, I'll give a pick on one of them here. Uh, Mike Brenner, let's just start with uh, with the Cleveland game. You know, we got a rookie starting for Cleveland, and you see this all the time in, yeah. in, in the He's MLB only playoffs. had one major league start. Yeah, but I, I know you've seen this throughout your life many, many times. Like a rookie comes into the playoffs and like is suddenly you know saves the day, and sure. everyone's like, "Who is this guy?" Never like heard Hersh- of him. Hershiser back in yeah, the day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it started in the seventies, maybe yep. even the sixties, fifties, and we could see the same thing here. I mean, if Merritt comes in and throws a shutout, would not be a shock at all, right? No. And his one start, it was five innings. Yeah. He was very, very productive. And the thing is, is the other team doesn't have the advantage of watching any film on this guy right. you know they don't know what he brings and it changes the whole dynamics um you know pete this is i just thought of you yesterday so much when you say you know this is a time for me to lay off this yeah. best baseball yeah because it's crazy and i had haters beating me up on twitter again hey guys i can't swing the bat i can't fucking swing the bat out there i would love to if i could but the bottom line is it is what it is momentum shifts in playoffs it's a whole different animal pete i gotta ride the jays today mm-hmm. i gotta do it i just gotta think the momentum it's definitely yeah. must win game my sense is that the jays will be the good play here the problem is the line is minus 180, Mike. Is Brenner. it all the way up to, oh, God yeah. bless America. Um, so, yeah, and that know, kid's pretty stout for the beginning. Um, I mean, I was yeah, going to. You know I what, would, Pete? I'm passing, baby. Yeah. I'm passing. I'm passing. Wow. I would take it at 130, 135, yeah. maybe I'd 140. I'd even take it at 140, I mean, 145. At this but, point, I mean, Cleveland could easily win, and now it's now it's getting to the to the area where, like, Cleveland might be a good bet at, at that high of see, a line. I don't know about plus that either, though, because I, I was waiting on that game where Cleveland reverted to what they did yeah. most of the year, Pete, and this isn't a knock against them. Right. They were just just not a powerhouse hitting team consistently through the year. But by God, they have shut down Boston. They mm-hmm. have literally damn near shut down Toronto. Yeah. But because of this one loss, all right, this is their first playoff loss. Let's not forget. Right. What will that do to them? Will they come back hard? Or, I mean, I don't know. I think Francona is so level-headed. Man, Pete, I'm trying to talk myself it into is. a pick, it's but tough. you know what? Right. Well, I'm let's, just let's, not doing okay, it. Okay, okay. Well, let's move on to the next game: the Cubs and the Dodgers. Hell, I'm again, walking out on this one again. This is a game where uh, you know it's all about the line. I think the Cubs have probably have probably had the advantage here. If they were, if the line were like minus 140 or so, I wouldn't touch it. But where it is right now, it's just minus 104 at Pinnacle. I think it's worth a play, wow. and I'm going to give the Cubs minus one, which will wind who's, up being who's about toe plus in the rubber today. Pistol so. Lackey against yep. Julio Urias, and 38 you know, years old. All right, he was there yeah. in 2002 with the Angels. Yeah, he won it with Boston in two. 2013. He's getting older, and I read yes. an article today. He said, these opportunities do not come along. I have to embrace it. I'm jumping on board with you, by All God. All right, so what do you – I'm going to take the uh, the I'm, minus one run line. What do you want? I'm going to go with the uh, – you could have the... Uh, the I'm the, just going full game money line. Okay, that's minus 104 at yep. Pinnacle. Oh, actually, plus 100 at the Greek. Plus 100, I'll take plus it. Plus 100 I'll at take the it. Greek. This yeah. is kind, Pete. You say it all the time. This lo- And I was okay with it losing yesterday. What yeah, are you going to sure, do? Sure. What well, are you going to do? So, I mean, it's uh, all about the line here. You know, if this yeah. if this one wins, uh, if the line is minus 140, I wouldn't have taken it. So, yeah. you know... And it's I like just, that. Uh, yeah. You're thinking on that. That's the way to break it down. But, Pete, you know another thing, and you can relate to this. We, in this business, sometimes you go on these streaks, you go on runs, sure. and sometimes you can feel them when they're coming. So with that being said, I'm just going to shut up. So for the haters, hang in there. It's getting <laughs> ready to get turned on. And for the loyal followers, thank you. For yeah, real. and I would be I would be leaning uh, Cubs on the second half as well, except that line's minus 140, and that's a little bit steep. Oh, the second half? Yeah, but it's minus 140, so that's a little bit steep. Now, so, yeah, because uh, Ordeus is, is towing the rubber. He's yeah, starting, right? Yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit of a I, – I expect him to have a, uh, have a good game. I do, too. But he could – you know, a lot he's of pressure, also, though. Yeah, there's a lot this of pressure. Got you know, uh, and we saw what happened when he first came up to the majors. He was a little bit shaky. Yep. So, and you, you know, called that. You called yeah. that. And this is a whole different platform for him. This yeah. is playoffs. This means everything. So, it's winner, you know. Yeah, I expect Urias to do well, although he is a wild card. Lackey is not a wild card, but I expect him to give up a few, not be yeah. lights out, but to give up a few, yeah. but, but to be okay. Yeah. So I think overall, all in all, adding it all up, the Cubs on the run line are probably a yeah. decent bet. They might, they might get it early, might get it late. And at the line, at the odds, I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, okay. 
hit it. But then again, I might be an auto fade in the MLB playoffs. So maybe you (laughs) want to take a shot with the Dodgers plus one. But Pete, both these managers, though, trust me, they are going to be waiting to pull the hook. If either of these guys get cold quick, they're going to pull them because this is everything. This is going to be a a manager chess game is what it's going to be. But yeah, I'm just going to ride Cubs full game money line plus 100. All right. And my pick on this game will be the Cubs minus one. So my recommended play for the viewers is Dodgers plus one. (laughs) They're eating me. That's right. There you You go. You are uh, just an absolute mess. Also, the uh, Cleveland-Toronto series has been... uh, I mean, Toronto in general has been very low scoring, and, uh, you know, the under is tempting, but it feels like at some point there's going to be a high-scoring game this series. You know what? I'm right, jumping right. Toronto second half. That's really? all I want. I just want the second half. Toronto second half, Talk and to I me. believe that will be minus 115. I'm taking it. Toronto yeah. second half, 115. I'm sitting here thinking, because I really, this kid might might shock them for the first five mm-hmm. innings. I think the second half, if that's when they, if they're going to be in a desperate situation, that's when it'll be. Donaldson, this kid's a leader. I like it. Toronto second half. I'm adding that, Pete. All right, Hell Mike yeah. Renner. So hey, I'm going to put you on, on blast here, Pete. Did uh, you do anything about these Twitter followers? Because are you done crunching the numbers? No, I, 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 uh, I, I, I. <laughs> here we go. Last night I was doing I was doing deep NFL research, and we're going to have a uh, hey, Dennis, we're going to have a, yeah, a, a, a a picks update today. That's right. Uh-oh. I got a bunch of uh, I got a bunch of uh, I was doing deep NFL research Jesus. last night, okay. and then I and then I got a headache. Just and gonna then start I calling you sleep. Captain Crunch because yeah, that's it. I, you just crunch those numbers. Then I woke up, and then I uh, you know had a little personal time, and then I went okay. to sleep. So you know, okay. And he rolled in from down town a little early this morning. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. So. But I will get to the Twitter stuff uh, for sure because one thing I do want to do is uh, when NBA comes around, yeah. I want to uh, incorporate the Twitter stuff into my picks because a lot of times NBA is, is, yeah. is uh, my picks are, are like half an hour before we tip off. Yeah, I got and you. When we well, I got some good news and stuff. bad news. Yeah, all right? The that? good news is for the viewers because I promised them I would stay on you like think on you yes. know what yes. until no, you made good, this good, happen. Good, good. The bad news is, Pete, is I'm going to stay on okay, you. So you, be- right. you know that? I'll support you, Mike <laughs> yes, Brenner. Well, yes. guess what? You better step it up on Twitter, baby. I will. Okay. All right. Well, that does it for our uh, Wednesday show, and we'll be back tomorrow, Thursday, for the Thursday MLB playoff games. Right, Mike Brenner? That's right. Go Jays and go Cubbies. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.